So I've been talking a lot of the last couple of weeks about my uh, Soma Lyra 8 organismic synthesizer, which um, I've used quite comprehensively on uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre soundtrack. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting just to show you guys a little bit of it. Um, this isn't a tutorial or a re review or anything like that. I just thought it's a really interesting, unusual little piece of kit and uh, might be of interest to people to, to hear a little bit of it in action. Um, so what it is, is a Soma Labs Lyra 8. Lyra 8? I like Lyra. It sounds nicer to me. So uh, Lyra 8 Organismic Synthesizer is what it says here. But... Um, Obviously, that doesn't give a lot away. It's made by Soma Labs that uh, make a lot of really weird sort of esoteric instruments, uh, a lot with kind of this strange sort of like spiritual vibe to them. The most recent one is like a big block of wood, basically, with knobs and dials on it. I have no idea. Um, they're not cheap, but they're beautiful, and they're made by a small group of people that really care about what they're doing, and um, I think that goes a long way. Um so what this is, is basically eight oscillators uh, in four groups of two. Uh, there's a couple kind of parent controls for pitch for those oscillators. Up here, there's like a modulation delay section and a distortion and main mix section. A lot of controls here I still really don't understand properly. Uh, and then we've got just uh, tuning for the eight oscillators and you've got um, modulation on each group of two and sharpness in each group of two, which I think is like a, a uh, like a cutoff, maybe with like a high shelf. I'm not really hundred percent sure, but um, sounds cool. So and there's no like um, central tuning. Oh, and most importantly, down here at the bottom, we have the touch sensitive little plates that you need to make a connection uh, with your body uh between these two plates here and that's what gives you the sounds apparently like even like the amount of moisture in your body and stuff like that will have an effect on how they sound which is insane and wonderful and part of the reason i love it um so yeah you have to hand tune uh these eight oscillators in any way you want i think it's roughly uh intended to be from like bass to high frequencies uh, and i think they are sort of um grouped in that way uh, so fuck it, let's just do some stuff. Let's get some... Let's keep things fairly even at first. So I've got... Uh, let's take the drive off completely. And the delay off completely. And let's just... Let's keep things in the middle. And then I'll, I'll roughly kind of try and tune things. Let's just like balance all this shit out in the middle. Here we go. And then let's just roughly tune these to each other. It's like a, is that a fifth? I'm not sure. That's a thing. That's also a thing. So there we go. Um, I mean, that's just instinctively, that's some notes that are roughly in tune with each other. So now the fun stuff is, first of all, just activating these with each other. And then just moving things around. So if I then chuck in some distortion and some of this f crazy feedback, like one note alone is beautiful. I 
is this like um, dissonance and like the notes rubbing against each other that's um, really interesting. Listen to that. It's fucking beautiful. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> to be honest, as well, like while the um, the crazy distorted stuff sounds amazing, it's very usable as sound design or like horror and stuff like that i kind of like the like the, the the cleaner stuff if i take distortion off completely it's just when it's like just really subtly vibrating against itself that it's just really interesting to me isn't that lovely There we go. Soma Labs Lyra 8 Organismic Synthesizer. I absolutely love it. <laughs> 